Our fifth presenter is Ted Barnett, Monroe County Medical Society. Uh, my name is Ted Barnett. <clears throat> I'm a physician from Rochester, New York, where I have been practicing medicine for over 27 years. I have come at my own expense to make the case that recommendations to consume dairy should be removed from the dietary guidelines. I majored in biology at Yale, where I received my BS in 1976. I was a medical student and radiology resident at Tufts. I am board certified in diagnostic imaging, as well as in vascular and interventional radiology, which includes the performance of arterial angioplasty and stent placement. 23 years ago, like any good parents, my wife and I decided to perform an experiment on our children. We adopted a vegan diet, a diet devoid of all animal products. The experiment was a success. All five of us are still thriving on a vegan diet. Our kids are now 26, 24, and 21. They are trim and athletic and performing well in college and graduate school. In fact, I've had the distinct pleasure of sending a fortune in tuition checks to some of, its finest, some of the finest educational institutions in America, including Oberlin, Colgate, NYU, and Yale. As someone who uses angioplasty and stents to treat blocked arteries, I have seen the havoc that the American diet plays on our vessels. I'm well paid for repairing this damage, and I greatly enjoy doing it. However, even though it is not in my economic self-interest, I feel I have a duty to promote a plant-based diet to help reduce the need for my services. Everyone has the right to know that atherosclerosis and other chronic illnesses can be largely avoided and even reversed with a whole food plant-based diet devoid of dairy and other animal products. In keeping with that, dietary recommendations should make it clear that dairy is not essential. Marketing by the dairy industry has led most Americans to believe that they require the calcium in dairy for healthy bones. The truth is that scientific studies do not support this contention. This committee acknowledges much when the rationale given in the 2005 dietary guidelines for raising the recommended dairy intake from two cups to three cups per day was not that we needed more calcium, but that we needed more potassium. An article in the Wall Street Journal on August 30th, 2004, described this as a major victory for the $50 billion U.S. dairy industry, which has long lobbied for increased consumption guidelines. The journal attributed the 50% increase in recommended dairy servings to skillful lobbying based on research funded by the National Dairy Council as well as the financial ties of several members of the advisory committee to dairy trade groups. The dairy lobby's success can be seen at the USDA's website, which recommends that we consume the equivalent of three cups of milk per day, regardless of our age, weight, or activity level, while the recommendation for all other foods varies up and down with those factors. This for a product that is completely unnecessary. This committee has assumed a daunting responsibility. You will know you have done your job well if there is an uproar after you issue your report. Removing from the dietary guidelines any requirement for dairy would have immense political implications, but it is the right thing to do, and I urge the committee to do it. Thank you.